Welcome back, everyone. There's not a whole lot going on here, and you know what? I am just A-OK -okay with that. We got beautiful clear skies all across West Texas for this afternoon, for this evening, for this weekend, for the next week. All right, that's your weather forecast. There you go. We're going to see temperatures kind of hanging around slightly above average, but is it going to feel that way? No, not necessarily. We have very dry air. Humidity, not so dry that we're looking at increased fire risk, and winds are calm enough that Again, don't have to worry about increased virus, but it feels very nice, about three degrees cooler than the actual air temperatures. I think we can always appreciate that. Check out that radar, empty as could be, nothing popping up, no clouds, no rain. Yeah, we could always use a little bit of rain, but typically we tend to see it in the form of severe weather. I think we can go without severe weather. We had that last weekend. Let's avoid it this weekend. All right, out to the east, post tropical cyclone Helene just sitting right over top of more so Kentucky and Tennessee. Lots of rain, lots of flooding. Still a few of those tornado warnings in the in the not just, not just the Carolinas, but in the Virginias as well. Keeping an eye on a lot of this latest reading of it. Post tropical Helene, 35 mile an hour sustained winds, gusts up to 45, but it's kind of getting caught up in that last cold front. They're basically going to combine into one large low pressure system and just bring a whole lot of rain, especially to the northeast. Strongest of those bands right around DC, Pennsylvania, New York, even out even toward Massachusetts. Look at the size of this thing in comparison to the United States. It's taken up a good chunk and affecting a number of states even after landfall. But I do want to point out one other interesting thing. This is another area of potential development over the next week or so. Notice the path of Helene and where this new thing may form. Something to keep our eye on. Models are really all over the place right now, but you know what? Well, that's what we're here for. We'll keep our eye on it. Clear skies tonight, 63 degrees. Easterly winds only five miles an hour. No rain chances. Your Saturday grilling forecast looking pretty good. Plenty of sunshine getting into those upper 80s and nice and clear too. So you know what? Your buns aren't going to get soggy and you can work on your tan too. I mean, you can't ask for anything better than that. Future track for the next couple of days. I'm watching maybe a cloud or two. You got to watch out for those clouds. That's about all the excitement we're going to be getting. Really, I mean, that's it. Oh, oh, that one almost made it. Whew. Thank goodness, too. We've had a lot of excitement as of lately, and you know what? It's nice that we get to enjoy ourselves with ample sunshine, slightly above average temperatures, no rain chances. Get outside, go do something. What do you want to do? I don't know. That's completely up to you, Juliana. Okay. <laughs>